and good morning good afternoon good evening depending on where you are and when it is that you watch this but grilling with rvh today out here on the grilling with rvh patio and uh, we're going to do a kind of a hybrid chuck roast to make pulled beef uh, this afternoon we took the chuck roast um, we seasoned it up and i'll put that part in here in just a moment and then we put it on the Rectech, which I'll show that in just a moment as well. And we're going to leave it on there for about three hours. And then we're going to take it off and put it in the Instapot for about 50 minutes on high, manual, high, and let it do natural release. And that stuff will be so tender you can shred it with probably your finger, but that's kind of nasty. So we're going to shred it with a couple of forks and some plastic gloves on so we don't spread COVID-19 bubonic plague 2020. So we hope you enjoy it. We'll be back here in, in about, oh, about three hours. Of course, through the magic of editing, it'll start right now. On the Rectech. Now we're going to close the lid and let it run for three hours and see where it goes from there. Put it back inside in the Instapot. All right, so now done with the just about with on smoker. We're going to dump in a uh, onion into the Instapot and go get the roast off the smoker and put it on the Instapot. So after three hours, just about on the smoker, we 
we're going to take the roast off, put it in the Instant Pot for 50 minutes on manual high pressure, and then do a natural release on it. All right, so the roast is done. So we're going to take the roast, put, dump the liquid that has accumulated a little bit, take the roast, set it in the pot on top of the... Pressure to high, and your minutes adjust to 20, or excuse me, 50. And let it seal from there. It'll seal up, and we'll be good to go. See you in a little while. All right, so the roast is done in the Instapot. We're going to pull it out now and shred it, see what it looks like. Get a natural release on the Instapot portion of the cook. Actually, we still hadn't released all the way. It was at 31 minutes and still not released. So, let's see what we got. Oh, ho, ho. looking mighty, mighty, mighty good. Let me bring you up here just a minute. The pepperoncinis, pepperoncinis in there looking good. The roast and some juices looking mighty good. And we'll see how tender it is. You can see how tender that is just by the, the way the tongs are just tearing pieces off of it. <laughs> so we got to get it off the off the trivet now. Mm -mm -mm. Oh yeah, it just pulls apart. You can see, yeah, I don't know if you can see that on the video. That looks phenomenal. You can see how good that looks. Too bad there's no smell of vision because <laughs> it would smell incredible. Moved the party in here to the kitchen. Try to finish shredding it a little bit. The good thing is that juice that's left in the Instapot you can make gravy out of or dipping sauce or whatever you want to with it. So it's really, really going to be good when all is said and done. Hope you enjoy. We'll try to show you a plated version here in a minute. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for notifications when Grilling with RVH puts up more videos as we're doing during this whole lockdown. We'll see you next time. Take care.